Yo! Chat! How we doing? Type one in the chat so I can say hello. How you doing? Gamers, welcome to the stream. There I am. Hello. Hopefully I'm not too weird looking. Um, yes, I look a little bit different. I shaved. And I got my hair cut for once. So I'm looking a little bit fresh. Anyways, George, you were first. Congratulations. Welcome to the stream. Agile, how you doing? George, Naki Cat, just a random dude. Astro, Error, how you doing? EK, Ori, Lock, Leaf, Joseph, Lovely Earth, Mara, Echo, uh, Valentin, Dina, Simp. I'm just trying to see if I miss anyone. 309, how you doing? Who, yo, who is this person? You clicked on the fucking stream. You know who I am. All right. I know that guy. I, I hope so. Moxie, how you doing? How you doing? Gamers, today is Thursday, and we're vibing. Don't ignore the, um, ignore the, 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 the ray of light from God himself, all right? Don't worry about it. It's just bright outside right now. It's, it's, it's all good. I, I mean, if I, I bet if I close it, it'll look better. Hold on, ready? Yeah, now my room looks normal. <laughs> my bad. Anyways, chat, how we doing? Any mod perms? Yep. Hold on, under. I gotcha. Slash mod under player 97. Anyways, chat, how was your day today? I gotta turn on my light again. How's your day? I have some regretful news that this week is going to be a little, a little bit limited when it comes to streams. Uh, I'll tell you why in a second. Sup, Chaos Creativity? How you doing? Been vibing? Good. The Sun God is mad at Josh. Yeah, my bad. I'm my bad. I'm doing fine. How about you? I've been good. So, this weekend, um, what is it? We, my sister has, uh, her bridal shower and she's doing her bachelor slash bachelorette party. So this weekend, there's probably going to be no streams, just as a heads up. Unless something absolutely crazy happens, um, there's not going to be any streams. Um, I might I might look to see one on Monday, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, as well as Toby's coming over tomorrow. So that's fun. Um, so that's going to be happening. And yeah, I'm just going to be too busy to do streams, unfortunately. So it's just for this weekend. Um, so no streams Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which was what we normally have, but it is what it is. So that's what's going to be happening. That's actually perfect for what we have planned. What do you mean you have planned? Xander, how you doing? What do you mean you have planned? I'm confused. What do you what do you mean? What scheming is my community getting up to today? But anyways, I've actually been cleaning a bunch of stuff today. Um, which is why I was a little bit late to stream. I, I picked up a few things, and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Do you guys wanna see what I picked up the other day? I, I picked this up yesterday, I went to town with my buddy Kevin, and I picked up two things. You want you guys wanna see? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna grab it regardless, because I'm gonna show you guys. So, give me a second, I'm gonna grab it. Arr. I gotta go grab the case for it. how it goes. I'm trying not to spoil anything, so I'm gonna put it right there. Let me grab the other thing. Hold on. So, chat. I've been looking for some of this stuff. As you know, or may maybe you don't, I collect 
older games, right? Um, preferably, I like the old Nintendo games and whatnot, so I enjoy, I enjoy like, collecting them. Was finally able to find myself a copy, okay? This is, like, the very not crazy thing. I was able to find a copy. Um, it took me a little bit to try and find one because no one wants to part with it. But I was able to find one finally. But this is the really cool thing, okay? Let me put this together. Chat, I want you to take a guess what I was able to find. I was able to find an older game than that. With the manual. The, the disc being in perfect condition. What do you think I found, chat? What do you think I found? I'm, I'm gonna... Whoever can get it. Gets a prize. I don't know what prize, but... Uh, you have my respect for the day. Take a guess. No, it's not Galaxy. I already have Galaxy. I played Galaxy on stream, like, a few times. That was your door. That's actually one I gotta find. That's been hard. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys. I was able... Oh, uh, there it is. I was able to find a copy... It took me a little bit, but I was able to find Double Dash. And the disc is in perfect condition, no scratches. Let me just pop that in there. I had to clean the, the front of it because there was like a big sticker. You know how like those, those like, um, where you, like a hawk shop, right? Um, and they'll put like the stickers on it. So there's like a big sticker at the front I was able to remove pretty easily with like some goo gone. But not only that, chat, it's got the manuals in it. The manuals, all of that. Do you find I found it at a hawk shop uh, near where I live? How much do you guys think I got it for? Because this is pretty much this is pretty much mint condition. Um, like, it's pretty much mint condition. I looked at it. There's no scratches. Um, cover art is still fully intact. Like, the outside plastic's a little bit not great, but, you know, it is what it is. 120, you're close. I got it for 100. I was able to get it for 100. Which, normally, I can't find it for under 100. Was a hawk shop. It's kind of like, um, so like if you have like a bunch of valuable stuff, rather like a guitar or like electronics and stuff, you can sell it to like these little stores and then they'll like assess what the value of it is and then they'll sell it back essentially. But yeah, hundred bucks. Originally it was 110. I was able to get it down to a hundred. I was able to work with the guy. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can stream it. I'm going to try my best because I was able to get another... AV cable. So I'm gonna see if I can stream. I can definitely stream Mario Bros. Wii, but I'm gonna see if I can stream Double Dash, because that'd be kind of sick. So a pawn shop. Exactly. It's kind of like that. It's pretty much a pawn shop. Um, I was able to find it. Again, most places, they're asking, like... Oh, I got this goo gone stuck on, stuff on my hand. Ugh, gotta wash my hands now. Um, most of them are asking over 120. Almost 140 just for the game alone and to find the manual let me see hold on i gotta wash my hands off the box and with the manual and it being in pretty pristine condition i'll take it Say hello. 
She's pretty cool. But anyways, yeah, so really cool stuff. Um, I'm glad I was able to find it. Okay, go! I'm glad I was able to find it, and I'm going to try and stream it if I can. If I can get the GameCube to stream. Because um, it, won't, it won't work on my monitor, like how my Wii will. But I'm going to see if I can maybe set something up on my TV for it. Because it's like component cables, right? So... Yeah, Josh, some other people in, in general, some other in general, we're going to be voice acting Undertale Red and Yellow on the weekend. And we were a bit worried of stealing viewers for Saturday's stream. Fair enough. I think I'm going to stream. I think I'm going to go and play through Undertale Red and Yellow. I've heard some good things about it. So I might play through it for stream. What do you guys think? Full more class before I can go home. Sick. I need to hunt for some GameCube games. They're hard to find. They're, those are like, it's weirdly, I don't understand it, right? Those are the most difficult ones to find, I think. Or at least the most expensive. Like, even like some N64 games are not that expensive. Depends on what you get into. Like, I have Donkey Kong Country on the N64. And that was probably the most expensive one out of them all. Um... Luckily, I was able to get, like, I have Majora's Mask, Super Mario 64, um, and uh, Ocarina. And I was able to get those only for 50. They still work in everything. Um, but, like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. GameCube, I've just found, is insanely expensive. Like, unless it's, you know... Like, the first Legend of, of Zelda. Because, like, that's, like, I think one of the most expensive ones to find. Or, like, Castlevania. Because I have Castlevania. Um, G GameCube games are just insanely in expensive. It's, I think it's because the GameCube wasn't the best seller. I think, I think it does go down to that. Um, I think it does have to do with the fact that not many copies were made of things. So, I think trying to get your hands on them is very difficult. Um, and I think also that the GameCube was more of a hit or miss with some of its games. So the ones that are really good, people try to get their hands on it. So Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Double Dash, uh, Super Mario, Sunshine, um, I, I, Luigi's Mansion, like for example. So those are like some games. So, because that there's not as many copies of them floating around, I think that's probably why they're so rough to try and find. Um, Wii games are really easy because there's just so many of them. Um, but yeah, there's there's even certain DS games. I found certain DS games are really, are really hard to come by. Um, Black and White 2, in particular, they had a copy at, at the, the pawn shop. Um, what is it? I think they had it. I think they were selling it for almost $140 for the DS, which is rough. I'm like, dude, I'm not paying $140 for a DS game. Black and White 2 is a good game. It's a good game. Not $140 worth though. Absolutely not. I'm going, hold on. So it's just like, I'm... Yeah, no, I'm not paying $140 for it. Like I was even, I was even looking at Double Dash. I'm like, do I, do I want to pay that much for Double Dash? Because like, it, it's, it's a good game, but is it worth like a hundred bucks? I don't know. I saw the condition, everything, and because of how rare it was, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. And um, plus, I can do it with, I can play it with like Kevin and them. So. It was a little bit more worth it to me, but still. It was like, damn. I don't know. But it is what it is. As I said, it's fantastic condition. Still has all the manuals in it. That's hard alone to, to find that. And I feel like GameCube games also people... People did not preserve them well. 
I think that's another thing, is that they didn't they, they didn't watch to like preserve them at all. So that's what I think. Anyways, I'm gonna be right back, chat. Don't go anywhere. I'm just gonna bring these dogs in. Um, and I'll be right back, okay? Just hold on. We'll talk about more game stuff. I can even, you know what, chat? If you want, let me know when I get back. Um, I can show you some of the games I have. Because I'm good to show you guys if you want. Um, so in the chat, you should talk amongst yourselves. What what rare games do you have? I'd love to hear it. Talk amongst yourselves. Share that. I'll be back in just like five minutes. I'm sorry I keep running every place. It's just, I yeah, there's like no one here at the moment. So... There's a lot of things I have to do. Okay, I'll be right back in five minutes. Discuss which games you have or which games you want to have. Um, and kind of go from there. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll turn up the music so it's not too quiet.
Okay, I'm back. Hello. Sorry about that. We're here. How are you doing? What's up, Rhea? How are you doing? So, chat, you want to see some of my games? Let me grab them. Chaos, what'd you just contribute to? I saw that. What do you mean you did this silly? What do you mean? What do you mean? What silly have you committed? <laughs> Josh, I want to let you know I'm retiring from making Jorbs. Finally! I get peace! Rayo, what are you doing? Don't do that to me, Rhea. Also, chat, as a heads up, we're going to be trying some things in the next stream. Giving some reviews about stuff. Uh, let's just say there might be some, some interesting changes happening. Okay. I'm trying it out. Okay. Trying some certain things out. All right. You feel me? go from there that's all i'm gonna say trying some things you know all right let me grab my games luckily i've been cleaning i've been deep cleaning my entire room right because there's people coming over um and so i have all my games just sitting there so i can actually like show them off because they're not in my display at the moment sup pika kit how you doing although Rhea, i don't know if this happened so i signed for the package to get this stuff right so, the company in question uh, sent me a bunch of sample products to try. Um, the, the duties to get it was $44. <laughs> so, they originally... So, the, 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 the postal service uh, calls me, right? And they're like, yeah, import fee. Import fee! I love Canada! Anyway, so the, the place to call me and is like, are you, is, I see that there's something here called lychee flavor. Are you shipping, um, are you shipping fruit? And I'm like, no, it's an energy drink powder. And they're like, oh, okay. Because I knew if they, if, if I, if it had anything to do with fruit, I'm going to get nailed. So then the, the lady comes up to the door today, hands me the package. Oh, they're good the camera. And it's like, yo, $44 import and duties. And I'm like, <laughs> it's it's crazy, dude. Yeah, it, I mean, it's it's not the company's fault. It's no one else's. It's no one's fault except Canada because they fucking suck balls. So that's my, my that's my thing. Yeah. Hey, Josh, what are your what are your huh? I'm confused. Naki, could you try to like rephrase? I'm confused. What you're trying to ask me there. Underswap next week? Yes, underswap next week because, as I said earlier, um, my sister has her bridal shower this weekend that I'm helping her set up for. Um, Toby's coming over tomorrow, and then the bachelor party that I'm a part of is happening on the Sunday. So, plus, with trying to do this next assignment for university, it's not going to align. So, what type of genres... Oh, okay. General favorite Pokemons. Okay, okay. General favorite Pokemon types. Ghost. Um, I like Ghost. I like Psychic. Um, Steel types are also like really cool for me. Specific Pokemon. I actually have like a little. I have a little box that shows some of my favorites. It doesn't have Aegislash, Slash though. So that's unfortunate, but. I'll try to like zoom in on the camera here. Those are some of my favorites if you see them. Mudsdale, Magnezone, Gardevoir. Quite a few of them. Also, I got this little cube. It's, it, I got it for my birthday, which was really sick. My brother got it for me. It was, I love it. Um, as for games. 
I'm still a little partial to X and Y, just because that was like the first game I completed. Because uh, I didn't really have like a regular DS. Because um, like I could not afford a DS um, when it originally came out. So when I eventually got my brother's 3DS that he wasn't using anymore, I was finally able to play X and Y. And I, I played the shit out of those games. I love them. No, stop. Hold on. Pause. No. You know, we, I was having such a great stream. I was having such a great one. The, the seven jorbs? Really? The seven jorbs. Terrible fortune. Terrible fortune. Anyways, let me grab my game. So luckily, I can go through all these, right? And because I have them all like set down, so. Also, Josh, old game I wish I had was the older Monster Hunter games. What's your opinion on Monster Hunter games? My friend Kevin loves them. I'm not particularly a fan. Um, I just don't think it's my type of game. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just not my type of game. What's your favorite candy? Like fruit candy or like chocolate? And I just don't know. I just never got into Monster Hunter. It just didn't really appeal to me. It could just be me. I don't like super grindy games, which is funny because I play Destiny 2. But I don't know. It's just something that just didn't appeal to me. Can you on Mitsusune? I don't know what that is. What? Doesn't matter if it's fruit or not. Um... Oh, gosh, that's so hard. You know what? After I show my games, let's do a candy tier list, and then we can figure that out. Because I actually, I don't know, because it's been a while. I don't usually buy candy or anything like that, um, or even chocolate, because I've been trying to, like, listen, chat. I'm trying to get somewhat thin, which I actually, I'm getting somewhere, all right? I'm getting somewhere. Unfortunately, I'm 6'3". So, I'm going to weigh a lot more than the average person. <laughs> but, I think I was under 250. So, I don't feel too bad. I don't feel too bad about myself. What's your favorite underswap character so far? I think I definitely like Cough and K. Um, although, Crossbones is pretty silly too. But, I do like the fact that they're just including Burger Pants more and more because that's silly. I love it. Anyways, let me grab my games, and then we'll do a candy tier list. So, I've got a few games here. Um, let me put it this way, chat. Oh, no! Okay. So, I gotta clean this desk anyways, because I gotta dust everything off. Dust all the creatures off. Sans, you need to go over here. So I'm gonna move these real quick while I showcase everything. Sorry, King. Sorry, man, you gotta move. All right. Gotta move Deku and my Discord partner thing. All righty, let me grab all this, hold on. You're gonna see some of this already of what I have. But this is important so I can show you everything. I've been collecting for a little bit now. So I kinda have a few things, which is nice. All right, Bomney, I need you to move. Goodbye, Bomney. So I've got, I've got a few games. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you my old, old games. I'm not gonna bother showing you my Wii games or like my 3DS games because they're on a shelf. I haven't gotten there. I haven't 
cleaned everything yet. Oh, don't fall, please. Thank you. So, we'll start with the not-so-interesting stuff. For the sake of it. Um, and you guys can tell me your opinions. These need to be dusted. It's holy shit. Okay, so... How do I want to do this? Would it be, I think it's just easier if I just stand up and show you guys, right? I think. Okay. So... I think this is going to be easier if I do it like this. Okay, so I'll start with my Game Boy games. NHL, not really that interesting. Nobody really cares about the NHL games, but still Game Boy game nonetheless. I remember playing this quite a bit. We got... Come on, focus. Not focusing. There. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I'm getting to the boring stuff first, chat, okay? This game is so ass. It's unbelievable. This game's so bad. I've never played a racing game that fails in every aspect. Okay, this is actually just underrated. Okay, so there's a Muppets game that they made for the Game Boy, and it is so critically underrated. Like, it's not the best platformer, but man, it was so cool. I loved it. Nobody cares about this one. This is just a crappy BMX game because, like, it's whatever. Now we get into the, the stuff I really like, okay? Okay. This one's not in great condition because it has a signature on it, but Faceball was, like, this first-person shooter that was very cool. The music was just phenomenal in it for some reason. Will you play through all the games in your collection? If I can. That needs to be explained because some of the games you can't really play. Like, I can't hook up a game, like a Game Boy, because it just won't work, right? Okay. This isn't its case. I don't know if any of you heard this game. It's called Alfred Chicken. This is actually one of my favorite platformers that's on the Game Boy. Something about it was just so fun. You play around as this chicken going through these levels. And it was just fun. I don't know. And now we've got the four, the four really big ones. Okay. So, let's start. This one's on great condition. It still works, but it does have a signature on it. Which I gotta figure out. I don't even know if I'll be able to remove it. Which is Pokemon Yellow. It still works. I actually was playing it the other day a little bit ago. So we got Pokemon Yellow. This actually might be my favorite game on the, on the Game Boy. Donkey Kong. I think this is 90, 94, I think. This was a pocket-sized Donkey Kong game. And I still think it is by far one of the best Game Boy games that's been made. Besides, like, the Pokemon games, one of the best ones. We got Kirby Tilt and Tumble, which this game just, just got on the, uh, I think, the, uh, the online service for Nintendo. What's your thoughts on collectors like games, comic books, and etc.? I think it's fine. You can collect whatever you... I mean, I'm technically a game collector. So, and then I think the best one that's in my collection at the moment is Japanese Pokemon Silver. I was able to find it, and I still think it's one of the coolest additions to my Game Boy collection. So that's pretty much my Game Boy. I don't have a ton, because trying to find them is really difficult in my opinion. But well, that's my Game Boy. That's the massive. We'll get there. Okay. So let's fast forward a little bit. I mean, I mean, technically Game Boy is fast forward, but... I want to save the NES games for last. Because those are the good ones. Okay? So let me go... No, let's get these out of the way. Let's go to my N64. 
So, I only have 6 N64 games as of right now. But I think they're probably the most... I, I think they're personally the best ones. We got Mario Kart 64. Which, as you know, is a banger. And I love it so much. Ah! Ah, 64! So we got Mario Kart 64. The classic that is. I need to clean it a little bit. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh goodness, which one do I do now? Let's do this one. GoldenEye 007, chat. I was able to find it for 20 bucks! It's phenomenal. I love it so much. The classic that is Super Mario 64. K's there because for some reason uh, Kevin's mom decided to put the initial there. But we got Super Mario 64. Still works. And now two of my personal favorites. Donkey Kong 64. This one was this one was hard to find. But we got Donkey Kong 64. And then my personal favorite in the collection. What? Wild Wario. I just got back from giving my presentation at the Big Science Conference. I'm so excited. I was given the biggest auditorium. I'll live stream my full speech. My speech in the house was full. Dude, send me a link. Chat. W for Oru. Bro, I'm so proud of Oru. It's actually unreal. Like, like, dude, 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 dude. Let me, let me, let me just... Okay. Dude, I'm so proud of Oru. Bro, she works so hard, like, on the stuff that she does. I don't understand all of it, but it's phenomenal stuff. Like, she's so cool. Or I was showing off some of my games. Do you want to see? This one is particularly... My favorite out of my N64 collection. Which is... Majora's Mask. The golden one. And it moves. It's like a little little thingy. Isn't that sick? So yeah, those are my N64 games. They're pretty cool. Let's get this wild card out of the way. But I also, this is one of my favorite things I found. I don't really c collect for this particular machine. But they had it at the store. And I was able to pick it up. Which was... Sonic 3. And... Has the book. The cartridge. And... Came with this. So, I don't collect for the Sega. Like, I don't collect for the Genesis or anything like that. But, it's Sonic 3. So, I'm in. I'm gonna pick it up, right? Let's go to... I, already, I, only, have two, I only have two GameCube games. I showed you what I just picked up, which was Double Dash. Which, or look at this. I was able to pick this up yesterday. Mint condition. It smells like Goo Gone. It smells gross. But, the one I'm particularly happy with, I was able to find, chat. The most golden piece in the GameCube collection, in my opinion. I was able to score melee. Oh yeah. Which I might stream this. The case doesn't close very well. Which is a shame. 
There we go. I was just closing it the wrong way. So you're able to get melee, so... so we got that. Other games I'm starting to collect for, but they're difficult to find. I have a PlayStation 1, right? I was able to... I was able to get a copy. I wasn't able to get the first one. They had the first one, but it was already sold by the time I got there. But I was able to find Crash Bandicoot 2. Well done, Crash! Whoa! That's all I have for the PlayStation, though. It's not very impressive. So I do apologize. Okay. Time to get in my Super Nintendo. What is the game you spent the most hours on? Sadly, Destiny 2. Sadly. I have almost 300 hours in Destiny 2. It's one of those games I can turn on and just kind of like turn off my brain. Technically, Minecraft would, but Destiny 2. Anyways, let's get into the Super Nintendo. I'll try to showcase the really cool stuff last. Because you know how it is. So I was able to find these for $5. Again, these aren't really that crazy. Which are just... The Madden and NHL games. I They, they were $5 a piece. I'm like, they're cool. I'll pick them up. Nothing crazy. What's your favorite retro games you have? I'll get to that in a second. Five dollars, chat! Mario Paint! I don't know how I was able to find it, but I was able to find Mario Paint. Now let's get into the good shit. Okay. These three games. Donkey Kong Country chat on the Super Nintendo. It's in actually it's actually it's actually in really good condition. There's no blemishes on it or anything. This one I was very happy to find. Which is Star Fox. What do you think of that, chat? I was able to find Star Fox. And then the one that most people probably recognize from the Super Nintendo age. Super Mario World. There you go. Super Mario World. I was able to grab it and hold on to it. So now we get, now we get to the cool stuff. The NES, arguably my one of my favorite systems of all time. We got Castlevania. The first one. Got Castlevania. The bundle pack. The bundle pack chat. First Mario, first Super Mario Bros. And Duck Hunt. I gotta, there's a zapper. I gotta get the zapper. Super Mario Bros. 2. Which is a classic. Was one game you want? I want the first Zelda game. That is on my list. And then I've got... I've got two copies of this, actually. Super Mario Bros. 3, arguably one of my favorite platformers of all time. I have two copies of these. I'm going to give away the other one soon.
Maybe I should put a bidding war for it. Because it's in good condition. I've got two of these, so... And then finally, because everyone was ranting about it, this golden cartridge. The Adventure of Link 2. I was able to find it. So it's Legend of Zelda 2. And I was able to find it for pretty inexpensively. How much? I think it was 30 bucks I was able to get it for. It was around 30 to 50. But this was undoubtedly, this is undoubtedly the fa my favorite thing I have in my collection. Extremely low, I know. That's why I got it. So yeah. And again, I have Wii games. Like, I guess I can tilt the camera around and show you my Wii games. But like, everyone had a Wii. So I don't think it's that crazy. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna move everything over so I don't knock them over and cry. By the way, Bagel's streaming? I know, it's Bagel's birthday, so everyone make sure you go uh, wish her a happy birthday. Because if you don't, I will eat you. But yeah, I don't think anyone really wants to see my Wii games. Like, it's a very good collection, mind you. But it's just like everyone has everyone had a Wii, so it's like not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Maybe. I mean, I'll zoom in. You just won't be able to hear me well. Hold on, I gotta turn on. Let's do this. And then let's do this. Okay, there. So there's my Wii games. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in, focus a little bit more. There we go. Those are my Wii games. Um, Wii Sports and Link's Crossbow Training are here. Those are here. What do you guys think? Thoughts? I know there's Lego games there. There's a corner of the house that's just a stack of Wii games, fair enough. But yeah. Why is everyone looking at Lego? Why is that the first thing that people are like, oh my goodness gracious? Why is that the thing that like everyone's ranting about right now? Like, it's just Wii games. And Lego games. I mean, Lego games are great. You know, I have Super Mario Galaxy, you know, stuff there. It's just like, the Lego games. Okay, listen. I will say this, though. Best Lego game. This is still one of my best, like, one of my favorite Lego games. Lego Lord of the Rings is such a go. And you can't say I'm wrong. Okay? Lego Lord of the Rings was such was such a banger. Okay, let me just grab this. And this is I think that should be actually good. Too low. That's too low. I knew it. Hold on. It's like a constant struggle to have the camera up a certain ways. There we go. Hopefully that's alright. 
I'll set it up for one thing. And it will just not work. Favorite one is Lego Batman 2. Fair enough. I was, like, I didn't mind it. It's just not my favorite, personally. But yeah, Lego Lord of the Rings. You can buy it. You can buy Lego Lord of the Rings on Steam. I, I, I had a blast at that game. I think I almost... I think I almost 100% complete that game. The only reason I didn't was because, like, the last character was ridiculously annoying to try and, like, collect. I think you need, like, a hundred... I think you need, like, a billion studs to buy them. Like, dude. No thanks. Sorry, we're just learning more things about this game. Hold on. Chat. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. In the King's Home of Child's art project hangs on a wall with a short message for King's Dad. For King Dad, Toby noted that the phrase "King Dad" is a reference to the Super Mario Bros. television cartoons that last air first aired in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Specifically, the phrase is from the Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3 series, in which the villains' children regularly call their father King Dad. Because this animated series was produced for Western audiences, this reference would be missed by most Japanese players. But rather than force a different reference into this important line, the translator focused on the key information and translated the line literally. Even without the reference, it's still clear in the Japanese script that Asgore and his child were part of a loving family. That's so cool. Didn't know they made a Lord of the Rings one. Yeah, it's really good. Like it's it's honestly one of the best like ones that they have. Cause it's full open world too. Like, not to be confused with the Hobbit one, because, like, the Hobbit... The Lego The Hobbit was horribly bad. I need to turn off the throne Twitter things, because it's it doesn't show what people actually purchased. Of Mario cartoon. Dude, I watched... I just realized this is still out of focus. Dude, I watched... The Super Mario Bros. like three show with Kevin. We would be at his house because I've known this guy for a while. We'd be at his house and then he'd turn it on and we'd just kind of like watch it for a little bit. Thank you, camera. Very cool. There. Can't wait for Toby to release the new Deltarune chapters. Whenever that will be, who knows when. Also, I'm going to bring up the candy tier list, by the way. <clears throat> I don't know if this is like a great one. I mean, this is like pretty basic. Hold on. Candy tier list. It's the best Mario show? Yeah, in my opinion, yeah. I mean, like, the other ones were like, okay, but... It wasn't fantastic. You know? Okay, I'm trying to get this up real quick. I literally search up candy tier list, and there's actual just girls kissing on one of the tier lists. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know, bro. That's true, under. Unfortunately for Doggy, it's not men kissing. <laughs> Terrible fortune. Candy and candy bars, maybe? I'm looking for one that has, like... It's lame. I mean, I guess we can do this one. This one's not terrible. I guess we'll do, like... We'll do candy... All right, there's an ultimate candy tier list. There's an ultimate chocolate tier list. 
So. Yeah, but these look, look pretty similar. Okay, we'll just do this. There's three tier lists here. This should cover the scope of everything. You know? Okay, let's do this. Okay, we'll make this the shit tier. Okay, perfect. Such a shame, no men kissing is terrible. Oh, Josh, I'm still Keyblade, by the way. All good, Clover. Opinions on Mr. Beast chocolate. I've had Mr. Beast chocolate. Um, I haven't tried the new recipe, so it might be better than what I thought. Uh, when I originally had it, it was kind of mid. Um, I don't think it was bad, but pretty overrated. Um, like, it was definitely better than, like, a regular Hershey's, like, standard chocolate bar right but it's like why would i buy this over anything else especially for the price of it that's just my opinion on it like it was okay josh just got fallout show ad dude dude okay listen all right fallout is a hyper fixation of mine chat let me just say this now it's definitely a better experience if you know what's happening. Like, if you've played Fallout before. But, dude, that show. I've watched one episode. I'm hooked. I'm so excited. My nuts are quaking. All right? Call me an 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake because my nuts are shaking. All right? It was so good. They brought up, they introduced, they had, they had, they had so many things. I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, because, yippee. Um, but some of the, the looks of things, the, the way things looked, was so good. Oh, so good. Fallout's getting a show. I haven't played the game, so I wouldn't know. So Fallout has a show. It's on Amazon right now. It's on Prime. Uh, I recommend checking it out. Highly. Even if you didn't play the games, you, you want to play the games after watching. It is, dude, the first scene, the first setup, the first five minutes of that show. I was like, this show's going to be fucking awesome. There is this scene. If you've seen the episode, you know what I'm talking about. It's when the initial impact hits. So cool. What game is the show referenced off of? I think... I'm not 100% sure because it gives off Fallout 4 energy. But then also energy of like 76 and New Vegas. So... I think they're just making an, a sample of, like, everything. I think I would play the games first, then go play the games. Go play New Vegas. New Vegas is phenomenal. Or go play 4. If you want a multiplayer experience, you can play 76. I'm not a fan of 76, but it's not bad. But, dude, oh my word. It... Chat, you have to, you have to watch it to understand, okay? It's so good. Conglomerate, yeah, that's what I think. There's definitely, there's definitely, it's definitely referenced. It definitely has a lot of Fallout 4 inspiration to it, especially the story plot. Um, but then it has aspects of like New Vegas and then 76. And what's really cool is that they have these like these three story POVs, and I think they're all gonna like combine. In later episodes, and I think that's so cool. I think, oh, it's so neat. It's pretty funny. It's, it's it's pretty gory too. So if you if you are a little bit squeamish with gore, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be interesting. And also, it is it is an adult show. Um, they have there is a scene where there is smacks. Um, just keep that in mind. I only played a little bit of Fallout 4, sadly. Go play it. Just play it through. Okay? I love I love Fallout. Anyways. Chocolate tier list. I gotta unplug my mouse so I can put in the little wireless part of it. Okay, um, I've never had mounds. 
so I don't really know much about it. Hershey's Cookies and Cream is an, an instant S. I don't know what they do that. They, 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 they put something in it. Okay. I love Cookies and Cream. It doesn't feel he like super heavy. It doesn't like, it's not, it doesn't make you feel like shit. Cookies and Cream is arguably the best thing that comes out of Hershey's. Like it's, it's un unparalleled. I like Kit Kat. I think I'll put Kit Kat a B. Um, it's something I buy. I like the bites because it's just like the crunch, right? I also just like wafers. And it's one of those things that's not super heavy either. Like, I don't like... I don't like candy or chocolate that's super weighing down. You know what I mean? I'll put that in A, actually. I like Kit Kat. Um, I've never had this. I mean, I actually do like m there's just so much you could do with them. I love M&M's. Again, it's just like the, the, the crunch of it. There's something about a mouthfeel to it. You know what I mean? I love them. What the hell is it? Is this just like a regular ass chocolate Easter bunny? Because these are pretty mid. These are like E. Like they're, I'll eat them. I have one on my desk right now from Easter. But it's like, I, I don't know why I would ever go out of my way to buy one. Crunch is just leprosy in a chocolate bar. Um... I just feel like there's no reason to get a crunch bar. Like, F. Like, it's just... Uh, just make a Rice Krispie Square or something like that. These chocolate eggs are also just like an E. They're, like, not great. But... They're, like, okay. And then this entire... This tier list... Someone has a bias towards Hershey Kisses. So, I guess I'll go through these. I've never tried the caramel. I'm just gonna get all the, the kisses out of the way. Uh, this is peppermint. This is F. That sucks. Never tried this one. These are regular. Regular Hershey's Kisses are like a D. Like, if they're there at Christmas, I'll eat them, but I'm not going to go out of my way to buy them. Um, Three Musketeers are actually kind of good. I, I, I'm going to put those in a B. I, I do kind of like it. Why is Crunch an F? Because it's the same Nestle chocolate bar, but they con it contracted leprosy. That's all it is. I liked mint. I like mint, too. But in this form, it's bad. See, like, if you give me an after eight, I will eat after eights because I love after eights, but I don't like it when it's like this. Uh, is this just like a Belgian chocolate? What is this? I don't know. Peanut M&M's, A. They're good. Turtles are just absolutely exquisite. Those are an S. They're expensive, but I love them. Ferrero Shays are... I'll put them in a B. Like, low B, high C. Again, not going to buy them. If I get them as a gift, I'll be thankful for them. And I think they taste good. It's just not my favorite. I've never had Dove. Never had Andes. Whoppers are shit. I hate Whoppers. There is something... Dude, there is just something about, like, the... The feel of whoppers in your mouth i get i don't like it i don't like the feel of it they don't taste any different they're just weird that being said cadbury mini eggs are like an a it's the only thing only candy from easter i actually get excited about toberon is toberon's like high a i have a little bit of a preference for toberon because like my dad loves them so i kind of grew up loving them but they'd also just taste good, you know? Reese's Pieces is an ass. Chocolate, I actively go to get one of these. Peanut butter and chocolate, just the most phenomenal thing ever. I, I've said before, I'll say it again, I am a slut for peanut butter, and particularly for peanut butter with chocolate. So, this is the regular milk bar, F. You're never going to go get that. Um, Milky Way is like an E. No, there's nothing special about it. You know? These are the mini cups. This, this frustrates me because, um, I love the taste of Reese's Cups. In fact, Reese's is going to be like a solid S. This is stupid. Like, I, I guess I'll put them in a B because I like the flavor of them. But like, they're just in the most inconvenient form in my opinion. I don't know. Tootsie Rolls are... F. Fuck them. They're so stupid. Almond Joy's in shit. 
Baby Bruce. I'll put it in like a C. Why is Crunch so low? Because it is a normal ass chocolate bar with leprosy. There's nothing special about it. MJ, you just like the worst chocolate. Okay. Your opinion is invalid. Your opinion is invalid. You probably store chocolate in your fursuit, and then it all just melts all over. That's probably what happens. This is even worse. This is dark chocolate. Fuck that. Okay, cream eggs. This makes me so sad. Cream eggs at one point in time were so plump, rotund. They were so girthy, filled with so much cream. And they just shrunk them. They became, the cream eggs became flaccid. I, how do you do that? Why would you do that? Nonetheless, these are a an A. Chocolate coins are shit. Chocolate coins are like the worst. Chocolate coins are just the worst form of chocolate. There's nothing, there's no point to this. These always taste ass. In fact, I would even go, they, I, if I could make a different tier, I would. These are the worst things to ever exist. There's no point to chocolate coins. Butterfingers. Butterfingers are C. I don't like the texture of them very much. Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, Lindor. Lindor is like a mixed bag. Because, like, there's some Lindors that are phenomenal. But, like, you, can, you can't really eat a ton of them. They're too rich. Um, Iso, what did we, what'd you join into? I'm rating candies. I love chocolate coins. Joseph, if I if I chocolate coated a bucket of tar, you would eat it. I don't want to hear your dumbass say that chocolate coins are some scrumptious meal when you chug liters of Pepsi. I don't want to hear it. Lindor, I will probably put in a seat. This is the Hershey's plain chocolate bar sucks. Mr. Good Bar. Joseph probably eats real coins, yeah. I've never tried Mr. Good Bar. This is something they don't have in Canada. Milk duds are shit. Um, they just are terrible. Super congealed caramel. Surrounded by chocolate with no flavor from anything. They have no flavor, chat. I hate to warn you. They have no flavor. They're so bad. I love caramel, but I don't like this. Anyways, Reese's is uh, S tier. Um, Reese's is... I, I Peanut butter. Saying, never had junior mints. I never had crackle. These are an Oreo bars. Like, if it's an Oreo bar, like I'll put it in a B. I've never had it, but like, it's Oreo. You could put you could put Oreos in anything, and it's gonna taste good. Okay, Rolos are good. I'm never gonna buy them though. Like, again, I'm not gonna be mad. Like, I like that. I like that. I like the more smooth caramel. But I just don't know why I would ever go out and buy Rolo, you know? That's something I haven't heard in a very long time, too. Okay. Um, I don't know. What, what particularly are these? I don't know what particular brand of them are. Okay, Twix. I'm a little bit biased to Twix. I'll put them in A. Snickers is S. I just think it's one of the better candy bars that exist. I don't know. I just like Twix is good. I've always liked Twix when I was a kid. Snickers is just phenomenal. It's chewy. It's, it has peanuts and it has nuts in it, chat. And it's got the vein. Who doesn't like a good girthy bar with a vein? You know? These bites, like A, I would still rather go for the chocolate bar itself. Um, and I don't okay, York patties are like the worst kind of chocolate with mint. 
Almond Joy has nuts in it. Yeah, you also have sand in an Almond Joy. You, so for some reason, some twisted, some twisted corporate motherfucker went in and was like, Arm, I have a great idea. Let's, let's throw sand into the chocolate bar and let's cover it with chocolate. And we'll stuff one almond in there. And I'm actually, that's going to be a great idea. And I just call it Almond Joy. No, it's an Almond Sad. It's shit. Anyways, candy bar to your list. Okay, this is going to be roughly about the same, so let's go through this. 100 grand, never had. Never had S Avenue. Three Musketeers. Uh, B. Arrow actually is kind of like a decent chocolate bar. It's Again, it's very light. Still pretty creamy. Almond Joy's an F. Baby Ruth is like a B, I guess. Eh, I'll put it in a C. Butterfinger, C. Cadbury's like... Regular Cadbury dairy milk is like... It's not the worst. I'll put in a C. I've never had this. Charleston Chew. It's coconut. Coconut is ass. Clark, no. Okay. For the longest time, I didn't appreciate. I didn't appreciate these. I don't think the States has them. At least I don't think so. Coffee Crisp kind of slaps i've been liking it more and more as the years came by i didn't like it when i was a kid because it tasted like coffee so essentially it's a chocolate it's a wafer and it has like this this kind of like muted coffee taste to it and then it's covered with chocolate right it's actually kind of good i don't like coffee i don't like drinking coffee i don't i never liked the the, the aspect of coffee but it goes really well with chocolate coffee and chocolate just go really well um, I'm gonna actually put this in a B. I actually kind of vibe with that. It's it's really not bad. It sounds very weird when you think about it, but it's like a nice, like, more aromatic kind of deal. I don't know. It's just interesting. If you like coffee, you'll love it. Um, but this just like tastes very smooth. It's very nice. Never like the coffee taste of some chocolate bars. I I get you. This one actually did it well. Cookies and cream is S. Crunch is F because nobody nobody sorry sorry. Besides the the three people in chat, nobody actively goes out and buys a crunch bar. If you do, you're weird. Never had Dove. I don't know why you'd buy a, 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 this. Why would you buy a bar of Reese's? Just get the cup. Heath is D. Regular Hershey, Hershey's is F. Bueno bars are like C. They're okay. Kit Kat, I'm going to put in A. Never had Crackle. I like Mars bars. I'll put them in A. Milky Way's a D. Never had Mounds. Never had this. Oh, Henry bars. It is such a diseased looking finger, but I love it so much. It is, it is just like a chunkier. Like add more peanuts to a Snickers bar and that's what it is. It's just a chunkier, like chewier... Um, like, more nutty chocolate bar. I love it. It's one of my favorite things ever. In fact, I actually put it up here. Again, I think they only have it in Canada. Um, but it's great. Payday's not great. Payday's like a D. Why is there so many of these Reese's Fast Break? Reese's an S. Never had Rocky Road. Score is kind of weird. I put it as C, but it's not great. Snickers, S. I don't know what a take five is. Tilburone is an A. Twix is an A. Never had a whatchamacallit. That's a York patty. That's a C. And never had these. Yeah, some of these I've never had because they're not in Canada. Even some of these I've never seen the States either. Like, I've never seen a hundred... Like, I, I think I've never seen a Crackle or a Fifth Avenue bar when I went down to the States. I just never saw those. Okay. So let's finally get to the candy, more candy aspect. There's still some chocolate that overlaps, but we got a little bit more variety here. Trying to find a comprehensive candy tier list is harder than you think it is. So let's just keep that in mind. All right, we're adding some tiers here. Okay, this is going to be F. F. Shit. 
and never had. Okay. I don't think I've ever drank coffee in general. Fair enough. Okay. Um, Warheads are just sour for the sake of being sour. I, I've never really enjoyed them. As someone who actually loves sour things, I just never find the, found the appeal to them. So I'm putting them in D. Reese's Pieces, again, I've said before, is S. <sighs> okay, chat, be real with me. Does anyone actually like go out and buy bubble gum? The only gum I ever chew is a minty one whenever I'm about to go on a date or I'm about to go, like, go out in public. That's the only time I'm ever going to like touch gum. And especially like this tape. I don't know. I just am not... Like it tastes good. Don't get me wrong. I just don't... I don't know why anyone would buy this. Like raise your hand right now. Type one if you would buy. If you'd go out right now to go buy a one of these. And type two if you wouldn't. I'm trying to prove a point. You're going to go out right now and you're going to go buy bubblegum right now. I'm just like chewing on random shit. Joseph, that doesn't mean you like gum. That just means you're the equivalent to a fucking untrained dog. Yeah, like most people, like a bunch of people are saying two. So it's just like... It, it's not that it tastes bad. It's just, it's why would I ever go on my way to buy it? So I'm going to put in D. Like, it's definitely high D. Yeah, I'll put in C. I mean, it tastes, it tastes better than Warheads, I guess. 100 grand I never had. Original Bazooka? What is Bazooka? I don't know what it is. Gobstoppers are stupid. Gobstoppers are F. They're so stupid. Sour Patch! It's like an A. In fact, I, I'm going to put an S. I like Sour Patch Kids. Hot tamales I never had. I hate these stupid lollipops so much. They're such an unappealing... I don't like lollipops as, a, as in general, okay? You are just sucking on your own spit. I don't like these. And plus, it's just like... It's weird. You'll have a strawberry flavor, and then there's just chocolate Tootsie Roll in the end. Or a grape flavor with chocolate. That's usually what you'd get. It's stupid shit. Sweet tarts taste like chalk. Never had these orange slices. Fun dip. As a kid, I liked fun dip, so I'll put them in C. Jawbreakers are the most pointless candy that I think ever exists. Ever. What is the... Has anyone actually ever went after one of these? I love balls. We know you are. Are so good. What do you mean? They're chalk! There's no point to jawbreakers. Shit. I don't know what these are. Okay, lifesavers. Out of any hard candy that I'd actually suck. And I do suck a lot. It's probably one of the more preferred ones. Because then you can wrap them up. I'll put them in C. It's just more of like an old person's candy in my opinion. I don't know why. That's so true, Earth. Thank you. You know what, Earth? Earth, you get it. You get it. I couldn't formulate it into words, but it makes sense. Earth said, Tootsie Rolls are a sin on humanity. They get into your teeth to munch too, too much and feels like you can never swallow them. Thank you. Ring Pops taste good, but they they look weird when you have them. So, C. Your musketeers look like an... I uh, put them in a B last time. Twizzlers are stupid. Twizzlers is old person candy. I don't like it. It's I don't like licorice. I think it is such a stupid concept. It doesn't even taste like licorice. It tastes like fake strawberry. Shit. These are Jolly Ranchers. I, I assume these are Jolly Ranchers. In that case, they're B. Those taste good. These are Swedish fish. D, like they're okay. Tootsie Rolls are an F. I don't know what this is. Okay, these necklaces are stupid. 
Even as a kid, I'd wear them, and it was like it was fun to wear them. But you just like I, you just want to eat them. That's all the point of it. It's just like it just makes it more difficult to eat, and then half the time you have to worry about eating string. Shit. Rassles I've never had. Crunch is an F. These are just cigarettes. These are candy cigarettes. No. Kit Kat is an A. Okay, so... Okay, so in the States, you guys call these Smarties. Right? In Canada, we call them Rockets. Because in Canada, there actually is a candy brand called Smarties. Okay. These are Smarties. They're the cringe equivalent to M&M's. They're not terrible. But they're not great. There's a weird aftertaste to them. But yeah, if you search up uh, Rockets Candy. Yeah, so this is what they're calling Canada. They're the exact same candy. But they're just called something different. I like rockets better. I like calling them rockets. Because they look like little rockets. I don't know. Anyways, that's how I know what they are. Those are like a, a C. Um, liked them when I was growing up. I, I don't think I would go buy them anytime soon, though. I have a whole bag of Smarties rockets in my pantry right now. Yeah, like they're good. Like I'm going to put them at the top of C tier. But I don't think I would actively go out and buy them. Uh, it also could be I'm a university student and lacking funds. Uh, York Patty's like a D. I, I just think it's, this is like the, the worst way to enjoy chocolate and mint. Dots are dumb. F. Peeps are shit. Except for the cereal. The cereal I've been told is actually kind of fire from Peeps. Uh, cookie dough bites I never had. Uh, Starbursts are like... Yeah, I fuck with Starburst. I'll put them in A. Reese's Cups, we already said are an S. I forgot Fruit Gushers fall into candy. For some reason, I always view them as like a fruit snack. You know what I mean? All these takes fucking suck. There's more actually decent choices here. Ori, your opinion has been validated many times ago. Anyways, free gushers are good. I'll put them in a B. Like, I'm judging them from where I sit right now, right? Like, my opinion on these would have been 100% different when I was, like, younger. Like, four years ago, my opinion would probably be vastly different. I'm comparing them to what I feel about them now. With a more mature palette. You know? Something you wouldn't understand, Ori. Never had lemon heads. Airheads are kind of fire. I'll put those in B. These are just regular ass lollipops. Shit. Hershey's Kisses are D. They're like, again, you'll eat them, but you're not going to buy them. Josh, you're a wretched being, and I cannot believe you will pass judgment when your time comes. What? Pardon? Sorry, chat. Never mind. Anyways, um, mature palate. You eat uranium because it's tasty. It's for its power. It's not for the taste. It's for the power of it. But anyways, wretched being. No. Your 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 profile picture is still an edit of you in Minecraft. I don't want to hear it. Uh, watermelon slices are an A. Those are kind of banger. Snickers are an S. Twix is an A. Nerds. I actually kind of like nerds now. I didn't really like it before, but I, I like them now. I'm going to put them in B. Milk duds are shit. These are atomic fireballs. These are those stupid cinnamon candies. Blech. Says the Minecraft roleplay YouTuber who did a Minecraft and ass series. I'm not taking shit from you. Says the one who watched the series. Just saying. 
Milky Way D. Uh, these, I hate. I don't like lollipops. These are lifesavers. These are the hard candy. I guess the other ones were not. The D. Again, I'm not going to like go out of my way for them. Pez are really stupid. Um, I'm sorry, support good creators. So then you just admit that, that what I make is good. So therefore, because I'm good in your eyes, I make good opinions. Therefore, your opinion's invalidated. Bye-bye. Anyways, Pez dispensers make me upset because they give you the little, the little toy with it, right? But the cost to refill them was so much. Like, I don't even remember if I even actually had Pez candy. Like, it wasn't that great either. Like, F. You only really bought them for the toy. Pop Rocks are just silly. I mean, I'll put them in D. These are... These are those weird sheets. Um, I don't know why you'd ever buy these shit. Mike and Ike's are pretty good. I'll put them in C. M&M's are going up to an A. Oh, Jelly Beans. Okay. Jelly beans are always a hit or a miss. Either they're really good or they're really bad. I never really enjoyed them, though. Listen, I'm stupid. Yeah, you need to put a, uh, the letter D at the end of it for it to say stupid. Correct your grammar next time. So I'm going to put I think I'm going to put it a C. I think it really depends. Also, heads up. Text-to-speech does not work, chat. Just a heads up. Have we tried the watermelon Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, and I put them in A. Whoppers are shit. I don't like the texture of them. I've never had these wax candies. I don't really understand the point of them. They're kind of weird. Skittles are an A. Heath. A D. I don't think I've ever had Laffy Taffy like once. These are, I think this is another repeat of Skittles. So A. Gummy bears are F. Never taste like anything. They're always just kind of cringe. Maybe Ruth, so I'll put in a B. Oops. Chat! This is where we're going to have opinions that are going to conflict with one another. Candy corn. I haven't had Laffy Taffy now. They don't, I don't, I just never really went for it. Where do you put candy corn, chat? Because this is where everyone... Everyone loses their shit over this. Either they love it or they hate it. There's never in between. I like candy corn. But specifically, there's this candy corn I had that was sweetened more with honey. So it was like this really distinct flavor. And I love them. But I love them. So, I think for me... Yeah, I told you. The, the, the opinions conflict with one another. <sighs> Depends on the brand. I'm going to put in a low B. I'm enjoy shit. These are gumdrops. Like, F. Pixie Sticks is just, just prepping people for crack. I'm not wrong. Pixie sticks is S. Yeah, if you go just like dump sugar in your mouth, like is that what you typically do? Worst part about pixie sticks is that you go to you go to take them and then the top gets like moist because of your fucking spittle. And so you can't get it out of the, the bag anymore. Pixie sticks is stupid. So all candy is no, but it's literally it's just powdered sugar. That's all it is. There's nothing else to it. Yeah, these regular candy bars like F. It's not good. It's miserable for you, but throwing it in people's eyes is fun. Or could you please be checked out by a doctor and then come back to the stream whenever you're ready? Because I don't think that you're you should be here. You feel me? Let me move my camera. Anyways, pocket sand, but candy. I can just go eat sand if that's what it takes. 
Yo. What other tier list should we look at, chat? What are we thinking? I'm just watch the time. Sand, yeah, what's wrong with sand? Josh, I made you a Pokemon? Where? Yo, that's kind of sick. That's kind of fire. Wait a second. Chat, that's kind of fire. My own type of Pokemon. See, I love Aegislash. So this, 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 this makes me excited to see. I love this. What typing is this? Steel Psychic type. Ooh. I vibe with that. Hey. I vibe with that. Listen, Metagross is a banger of a Pokemon. Although, if this is a Steel Ghost type like Aegislash, <laughs> I fuck with it heavy. Instead of metal kissing, by contracting their, their tail and fingers, they pull on the golden rings to unleash psychic attacks. That's cool, though. That's sick. I like this. Anyways, I vibe with that. Good job, Naki. I like that. I like that. You know what? Here. There you go. I like that a lot. Someone should make Jorb into a Pokemon. No. No, they don't. Absolutely not. No. Also, chat. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this on stream. Why do I need to keep why do I need to keep uh, tapping the sign? Just saying. Why do I need to keep tapping the sign, chat? Is it that hard? I don't know. I don't understand. Sadly, some people would um, yeah. I have had a, I've had to tap the sign three times in this in this week. On the seventh, on the eighth, and yesterday. You know what would just be great, chat? You know, if people could just read the rules, right? And stop being super cringe towards people I hang out with. That would be awesome. Because people were... For, for context, chat, people were being super weird. I had to make an announcement about this. People were just being super weird towards Oro and Toby. And also just being really rude and just breaking rules in general. So, if you're in my Discord, keep this in mind. The rules are really simple to follow. Okay, well, maybe for some people this one's very difficult, but... Y y you understand me. The rules aren't hard. Right? It wasn't just that person, Agile. There's been a few people. She remembers with respect. Don't discriminate. No bullying or shit like that. No NSFW content. Don't self-promote. Don't bring up sensitive topics. Use correct channels. Don't friend pe don't friend staff. Don't vent. Don't use an alt account. Minimum TOS. Respect people. Like it's not that hard, you know? Really isn't. It's it's super straightforward. There's a rule that says read the rules. You know what's really crazy is that they actually have to, in order to get into the server, right? You actually are, you have to go to the rules channel and you have to click that. React to this message with that to gain access to the channels. It's not that difficult. So, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of strange. Let me see if there's anything in Stream React I want to check out real quick.
who posted this? Logan. Why did Logan repost this? Why? <clears throat> I hate this. I, I hate this a lot. Uh, let's see. Liberals always say prepare for the future, but how will we if everyone's either aborted or transgender? What? Well, at least they aren't stuck in the underground like Sans Undertale. Because Sans what? Undertale ended up in the underground in Undertale because he's actually Ness from Earth. I've seen enough of this. Under, you're not funny. Cause this. Oh, that's not terrifying. <laughs> God, I hate that. <laughs> Dude, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's furry detected. No, Mysterion. <laughs> Furry detected chat. Be afraid. This is a world eater. Your words are not safe. Hey, Astro. You want to be Toby so bad? You want to be Toby so bad, don't you? I gotta turn this music down. Whoa! Oh boy. I gotta turn this music down. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Okay. What is bro doing? What? Die! No, nah, that person's doing that on purpose. I can't even be like. I, yeah. Do you have a problem? How's it looking? It's so stupid. It's this so stupid. Is second street in Sacramento. Second is the first most common street name in the U.S. First what is actually third because a lot of cities use Main, which is seventh. In place of first. Third, what? Then comes in second. And fourth is right in line at fourth. Park is then fifth. And at six is fifth. And sixth is eighth. Oak is ninth. And to round out the list, at tenth is seventh. That hurts my brain. The American road system is so weird to me, bro. You look familiar. As do you. Fun. Thank you. I would tell you about the time Keith tried to deep fry turkey. Third degree burns over ninety percent of his body. Oh, it's hell divers. <laughs> I love hell divers. Anyways, guys, um, you know, uh, who who would repost this? I'd never understand this at all. I love ice cream chat. New guitar reveal. <laughs> Where did you get this? That's phenomenal. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh, what? What, Ori? Let's see what you. He should be Pete Davidson. Mom, I can't. He's a comedian. <gasps> well, he should like you because you're a fucking dope. <laughs> The whimsical bringer of war. The stupid comedian of unfunny. Bueno, vamos a probar. Uh, debe estar conectado al revés la pila. Whoa! Epa. Whoa! That hurts my eyes. I'm not watching that anymore. What is this? What's gonna happen? 
Yes. I ask questions. <laughs> ah! Shit! Dude, that scared me. Brooke. Duck. 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 This game was a social experiment. Duck. <laughs> Why is it <laughs> Phenomenal stuff. I love the, you gotta love to see it. Apartment complex. I find it quite simple. Okay, they you just they're unfunny. I'm sorry. Who is this? <laughs> I've seen this. I love Elden Ring. Sold his soul for call outs. Where were you at? Maybe didn't even go with me, bro. I did. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah. What? Why does she talk like that? So strange. I know where he is. I know where he is. This is this is the this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Spy guy, if you're gonna come to my chat, okay. You said weird shit, and then you put in, what is it, media or images? What did you put? You put something, like, someone sent something that you said, which is like, dog. There's a way to say things, and there's a way that, to not. Okay? Let's put it this way. Look at this. Tell them good riddance. <laughs> yeah, good riddance, right? Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Please don't ban me. I see it. just the ban just goes out. What's happening? Let's see here. Oh no. Oh. Let's see. Whoa! I usually get balls in my face, but not to this extent. I don't like that. Thank you, Joseph. Do not go outside. That fucking cat just hung an anvil above your door so you could drop it on your head. Squishy to be really short. Be careful. Yo. Thank you. <sighs> anyway, how bad is your grip? Horrible. Don't stand behind people when bowling. What is going on with my hair on the side here? That's weird. Anyways. I, I, I don't know. Anyways. Weird. Anyways. Do you stand behind them? Test your power? Ah, uh, yes. Grab the bowling ball before it hits you. Great idea. Phenomenal. Chat, I've got class tonight. It's 6.30. And I really don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't know, just get good, sir. What do you mean, get good? Why is my stream like two minutes behind? You might have to refresh and see. For some reason, YouTube is a lot more behind than, um, than Twitch for some reason. I don't know why. Also, I'm gonna... 
There we go. I sh you should be able to see me a little bit better now. Just think how funny how instant the ban was. Well, when you're going to come in my chat, right? You're going to come in my Discord. You're going to be a nuisance to people. And then you're going to, like... Like, objectify my girlfriend. Like, it's weird. I don't like that. I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm looking at today's... I'm looking at today's class. I haven't done anything in the right. If you're still here, you're fine. Right? Uh, that... Okay, night ball. How is that spamming? Oh, it's because of the symbols. But yeah, uh, if you're if you're still here, you're going to be fine. So tonight... So I'm learning Linux, by the way, chat. If you didn't know. Um, which is fun. Okay, let's, let's find some new music. Hold on. There we go. So, for tonight, so I'm learning Linux, so I'm learning all, like, the controls and everything. So, for tonight, Under will probably understand this. Um, so, by the end of this class, I'm looking at, at my thing right here. Uh, by the end of the class, you'll be able to define three benefits of text processing programs over programming languages for a security professional. Use the command SED to make substitutions to a file. Use command AWK to isolate data points from a complex log file. Edit contents of a file using command nano. And design an IP lookup shell script by passing arguments. I have no idea what that means, but awesome. You know, voice actors play TS under swap. I'm sorry, bro. I've got things to do this this tonight. I'm not gonna lie, I always use nano for text editing. I might ask your help in case I can't understand it by the end of the by the end of everything. But uh Yeah. I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping I can understand by the end of tonight. Um unfortunately there's just like some people that are in the class that are kind of disruptive. Um, like they'll show up late and then they'll ask to repeat the warm-up exercises because they show up late and it's like, dude, just be there earlier then. Just be on time, you know? And so they just kind of like become a problem for the rest of the class. It's a little frustrating, but it is what it is. Also chat, for my drink tonight, I'm going to see what I'm going to use. Should I go with a... Tropical Splash. There's Cherry Limeade. What's this one? Peach Mango. Or a lychee flavor. What do you think? What should I go with? Have you tried ha try hack me? I need to. That's something I gotta work on. Getting an education, becoming a sage. I'm just trying to get my security plus. That's all I'm trying to get. Listen, when I found out security analyst base salary is 86k, I was like, I can go with that. You know, I, I don't mind that. And that's just for a starting position for a security analyst. <laughs> so I kind of vibe I I, I vibe with it. Mango sounds interesting. It does. Although the lychee flavor is calling my name a little bit. So, we'll have to see. Um, also, chat. Very big. Uh, pr well, we got. I got to promote this because... Uh, yippee. <laughs> Dog. Okay, well, this flat guy, I don't know. <laughs> Bro wants to become a villain so bad. Anyways, I gotta try hack me. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try that site um, to play around with it a little bit more, and then go from there. 
was really active in DDLC stream yesterday, lol. Fair enough. What is up, Seth? How you doing? How you doing? Bro thinks he's a menace. Believe me when I say that um, we're being pretty chill when it comes to this. It's just like, dude, if you want to watch my content, I mean, cool. If you're going to start being a dick to people, then don't be a part of my community. You know? This is how I see it. Yo, Josh, late to the party. What's with all the weird analog horror titles and thumbnails? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it, focus. There's nothing wrong happening. Got time now for 40 minutes for no reason. I'm not sure what the what the issue was. I'm not 100% sure, Cade. Time to call Josh my favorite comfort streamer. If you think... If I'm your comfort streamer, there's a problem. There's something just wrong that's happening there. Dying right now, brain rot for me. What are you brain? Is it is it about Fallout or is it about your story stuff? Which one is it today, Seth? What flavor? My favorite comfort streamer. I will actively, I will actively make you despise your own being by saying horrendous things. Both I had a feeling. Dog, I need to watch. I think I'm gonna watch more Fallout episodes with Toby when she's here yet tomorrow. Oh no, chat! It's such a shame. Oh no, I I'm gonna be watching movies while while sitting with Toby. I'm. Damn it! Damn it! And this is horrible. <laughs> Don't watch streamers for comfort. I watch for chaos for stimulation. There you go. Perfect. You're in the right place then. I mean, this is a much more chill stream today because I'm tired, but we vibing. Such a shame, and I cry. I know. Very very horrible. So, you know what it is. Anyways. Ugh. Anyways. Just kind of vibing, though. Um, The problem is I don't have much to do at the moment. Because, like... I gotta do... Well, there goes my camera. Well, that, I can do that. Big fan of Joshua P. Story Painter. I'm a big fan of Shrade underscore... Sometimes. I'm kidding. Favorite streamer? If I'm your favorite streamer, I'm sorry. Astro, you are not eating any worlds anytime soon, bro. You use gotcha with this text. I don't think so. Listen, chat, if people are going to make gotcha content, you know, like, there's some really cool gotcha, like, creators, like, Mara is one of them. And I've voiced for, like, gotcha, like, things, right? But listen, I'm not going to take you as a menacing threat <laughs> when you make a gotcha OC, okay? Let's just put that in real. I'm going to be 100. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You have to, you have to, to intimidate me, you have to find some other word, other means, Peak brain rot. I will say... That is definitely one of the more intimidating uh, looks I've ever been given. I will say that much. Why does this guy look like the way he does? I, this guy looks like he's... 
This is. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Why is he like hunched over like this? Anyways, he's in prime positioning. What do you mean he's in prime? For what? Fortune. Ah. Yeah. What did I win? A sad, sad feeling. feeling. Oh. oh, a very sad feeling, chat. I get. I win. No. Oh. I should give that voice to someone. I should get a character and give him the villager voice in, in some things. Villager number four! Updated. Be afraid. This is a world eater. Your words are not safe. I don't think that you are very scary. Get Ethan to do it. That would be a... Fair enough. That's a cool idea. Anyways, chat. Ugh. I know it said words before. This is not intimidating. I will actively you are you are just going to be turned into a stew, okay? Let's just put it that way. I love villager news. Do you know there's actually more villager news like um like videos that are coming out very soon, right? In case you didn't know, they're actually going in and they're making more stuff. Which I think is just kinda sick. You want pasta? No, uh, I should probably actually go see what's for dinner. Maybe make something for my. Anyways, I should probably go figure out what's happening for dinner in a second. Anyways, chat. I'm gonna head out for now. Um, I know this was a rather short stream, but. I don't know. I'm just tired, and I've got class at in like an hour and a half anyways. Plus, I gotta I got finish cleaning up my entire room because Toby's coming over, so I want it to actually look okay, you know? So, I gotta do that. Plus, I gotta make dinner. You should raid the breakfast food. I was thinking about raiding Bagel because Bagel's birthday! I said, I, I think I DM'd Bagel. I said, um, what'd I tell her? Uh, I DM'd Bagel specifically. Congratulations. Now go do a crime to receive felony charges. Let's clean this room for this, for this girlfriend. Like, it's not bad, chat. Like, my room's not, like, a bomb. It's just I need to dust everything. Like, I, yeah. It's like a spring cleaning type of thing. But yes, Ori, I am. Because I love my girlfriend, all right? Anyways, let's go raid Bagel. Guys, you know Bagel. Bagel's super cool. Highly recommend as a streamer. Okay. Plus, it's her birthday. So. Yeah, it is. Let's just pop out the chat. Bagel has face cam? This is the first time I've ever seen Bagel with face cam on. Like, ever. Anyways. Go check out Bagel. Make sure that you follow if you haven't already. Super cool streamer. Literally one of my best friends. Um, very silly. And she's playing Jump Jump King, so you can see her rage. This is phenomenal stuff. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later, chat. Have a good one. Bye-bye! Wait, go to the YouTube chat. Oh, thank you. Jacob, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. This is so fun. I'm glad it was chill. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jacob. I wanted to make sure I got your... Uh, I read your donation before stream ended. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye, guys!